Hey, good morning, everybody. Back to the Sean Green Show. And hey, Sean Green, how you doing on this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning? TJ, you ever think guys, it's Friday? Look, y'all, I shaved. I shaved, y'all. Hey, I'm like a new man, for real. But hey, how y'all doing, for real? Also, those of you who be um, watching my recorded videos, basically, where I record this, basically, uh, where I post this on TikTok, you ever want me to do a live show, just let me know. Hey, hey, never the BS. Let's get into it, basically, for real. California passed a new law. New law, basically the first in the, the first in the United States, basically, that's impacting basically digital storefronts that affects video games, movies, and ebooks, and also music. Basically, what not? Um, the Governor Newsom, Governor Newsom, all his wisdom. This one I kind of respect him for doing this. Sign AB twenty four twenty six, a new law that requires digital marketplaces to make it clear to customers when they are only purchasing a license to access media. The law, it said the law will not apply to cases of permanent, permanent offline. Basically, basically new law basically saying, basically new law is basically saying basically that when you buy anything digitally, you don't own it. No matter if it's music, video games, eBooks, you don't own it. You really don't. Because if that particular place that you have your library on loses the license, you lose everything. And I mean everything. Only time you actually own something, basically for real, own something basically for real is, is, is that actually physical copy. Like this, physical copy basically. For real. I know a lot of people basically don't want to hear that one because a lot of people don't like owning the physical copy of stuff basically. Because again, you're worried about space. Where can I put this? Where can I put that? Oh, 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 I got too much of this, too much of that. Which I understand. But here's the thing though. You got some people what now paying, let's let's be real here. When it comes to video games, paying paying $70, $80, or $100 on video games and it's digital and you don't technically own it. You don't. For real, you don't. Because you, you don't know, because once that company that has that library, whether it's whether it's Microsoft, PlayStation, Nintendo, once they lose their license rights, it gets taken away. For real, it really does get taken away. And then you're like, wait, wait a minute, I spent all this money for this money for this money for this. Especially when it comes to stuff like movies, movies, everything. We spend a ooh, countless amount of money. You know how much these did, 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 did digital movies cost? Basically, some cost twenty four dollars, thirty dollars, like thirty dollars, like for real. You got Deadpool. Um, and Wolverine coming out um, next week, basically, when they're on digital. That's going to cost like about $29 digitally. Even though there's been somewhat workaways around it, some companies basically have caught on and stopped this, basically. Because some people basically been able what to do is they'll, um, they'll um, download it and then read and then copy it to a, to a portable hard drive and save it. Some people, some people have been doing that for, for um, movies and TV shows. TV shows, hey. Hey, 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 if you do that, I get called the right ahead, but still, but still, to play those movies, you still need the licenses right, which means every time you log on, you got to make sure it loads up that license right, because if you don't, you won't be able to play them, for real. Man, hey, I'm happy California came out with this law right now, that law is only in California, not in any other states in the United States, basically. Especially when it comes to ebooks, ebooks like books, like like ebooks like books, like, like like these for real. I like having an actual book in my hand. I'm, I'm 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 weird. I will actually have the actual book in my hand. I like ebooks, even though I see the convenience of ebooks, basically. But still, once that once Amazon, once Amazon lose the rights, basically whatnot to that particular author, basically, or or, the, or, or, or or that particular publishing company, that gets taken away. All the money you spend is gone. At least with hardcover, at least with physical copies, you have it for life. But I know it's kind of it's getting kind of hard to buy physical copies of, of let's say, video games, basically video games and movies, because it's places like Walmart, Target, and also GameStop are moving towards stop selling physical copies because everybody's going digital, for real. But again, this problem with digital, you don't own it for real. Hey, I'm old school. I like having I like having the actual hard copies and stuff. As long as it's available, I'm gonna buy the hard copies. Certain movies I'm not gonna front. I'd rather just have digital. It'd be like, you know what? I have a digital. 
and either pay a dollar some change, something like that. When we go, let's say, one of the say about um, Microsoft, Microsoft movies and TV, they'll have sales where certain movies are like, try to sell for two dollars. Like, no, that's just two dollars here, bam. But there are certain TV shows, TV shows, I like to have um, hardcover. Like, for instance, I got Game of Thrones, I got Game of Thrones, basically, physical copy. I'm never getting rid of it, I don't care. I'm a huge Game of, Game of Thrones fan. I, I I got um I got um uh, hey I love medical shows I got all oh, got a complete series of ER hardcover ER on physical copy I'll never get rid of that certain stuff you want to get basically physical copy but not because it shows you like to have for real hey I'm not gonna add on the front I even got the physical copy of them old Batman cartoons and and them old um Batman Beyond cartoons yup mm hmm I'm, I I'll never get rid of those for real certain stuff you wouldn't have a physical copy of. But again, I understand why some people don't want to do it. It's mainly because of the storage space. Oh, where well, I'm going to put this, where well, I'm going to put that, where well, I'm going to put this. Oh, I, I, I got this kind of filled with this. For real, I understand. I really do. But let's, let's be, be fact is when you're doing it, you, you do it, it's like gambling, basically. Because you got to hope and pray that company don't lose the rights, basically, and you lose, and your digital library is gone. I mean, gone. You see all the time with uh, with, with um, Apple Music, so one minute, one minute, one minute that music is available. Yeah, yeah, they see it, bam, it's gone. Wait a minute, I just I just feel like I, 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 I spent three dollars for the song that's gone already. Yup, that happens. That happens. They're a loser, right? That for instance, there are certain fifty cent songs that's no longer available on um available on um on Apple Apple that was there before. But I got taken away for real. I wish I could show it to you when I, but I can't when not because I get flagged for copyrights for real. Hey, yep. And anybody in the way, I hey, almost says this man. Hey, when you have digital libraries because of video games and everything, you don't own it. This is one law I respect. Hey, good morning, Wavy. This is one law I respect Governor Newsom for signing. So it's, it's trust me, it's, they don't come into effect until 2025. Again, start 2025, Sony PlayStation and every other digital storefront will have to tell you basically, I tell you basically, that when you buy anything digital, you don't own it. You don't own it, for real. You don't own it. I'm happy with California coming with that law, which other states will come out with that same law, for real. Because trust me, trust me, a lot of these companies whatnot are making money off you buying these games, buying these games and stuff for like $80, $90, $100. And you don't actually own it. You, I'm dead serious, man. You don't own it. Y'all saw what happened, why not, with the video game, the crew. Ubisoft just, bam, took it right off. Everybody got mad. Everybody got mad. You saw what happened earlier, um, earlier was this year or last year, what not, when Sony lost the rights, basically, went to Warner Brothers movies, and it was taking it off everybody's library. Everybody said, wait a minute, I spent money on this, spent money on this, spent money on this. The place they come on and say, I'm sorry, but we lost license rights, so basically you you gotta lose it. But thank God it was able to come on last minute deal and save everything. You don't own it unless you have the actual physical copy. Me, I'm old school. I hey I hey, I like the physical copy when it comes to books, video games, and everything. Hell, I still got True Crimes LA on PlayStation 2. Hardcover. I got that. And I still got all the old school games. When the game that they're remaking right now, basically making making right now, I still got I, 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 I still got the crib. It's better to have it digital. It's better to have sorry hard cover for real. I know again, some people don't like that mainly because of a hey, storage. I got got put this here, put this here. I understand, for real. I understand, but hey, hey, I rather have a physical man because hey, if I'm spending eighty dollars for a video game. A video game for I'm gonna make sure one, it one it has one it one it I can have a, one I can, one is a good game one that where I know I, I can go back on and play it over and over and over over again, and and two if if it's a physical copy, I'm being honest, I'm very picky how I play video games, sports games man please I wait to come on Game Pass and bam play it I'm be honest with you, Game Pass on PlayStation Plus if you wait if you wait till at least half this is over it'll be on PlayStation Plus for real. But RPG the virtual games, I'm very for real. I, this is me. I'm very picky. I'll sit back. I'll sit back and see if it has a longevity test. 
if it's good. Because it's good because some games you like to go back on. You like to go back on and play. For instance, for instance I recently went back and played the Godfather video game. Y'all forgot about that game, huh? Came out for PlayStation 2. I, 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 I recently went back and I played that game. For real. Trust me, it's good to have the physical copy. The good copy. Again, certain music. Good to music. I hate to say this, but it's good to have the physical, physical copy for music. Like I said earlier, certain 50 Cent songs got certain 50 Cent songs got removed basically from Apple. Basically, why? Because they lost the digital rights. Even though it's right there when it says um, um we're up to get terms, terms of policy and everything, but get this. You need a lawyer to understand all that uh, language. Again, that's why I'm happy California, again, I'm happy California came with that law and clarified it and said, you must tell people straight out, blankly, whatnot, that blankly, whatnot, the all digital storefront, they don't own it. Let's come out. Let's be real here. You're renting a game for $80 for life. $80, but not for life. That's what it is. That's what it is, basically. That's what it is. And once it's gone, it's, when you lose it, you lose it. I'll be dead honest. If y'all want to continue to own, if y'all want to own like digital storefronts, these games, these libraries, go right ahead. I know it's me. I'm old school. I'm going to continue with the old school parts. So hey, I'm going to tell you the old school ways are the best ways. I'm going to continue to buy physical copies, for real. Sports games, uh-uh, nah. Uh-uh, nah, because those got a one-year shelf life. Shelf life, for real. But other certain games, yeah, for real. Other certain games, yeah, I'm going to have a little copy for it. For real, honestly, man, for real. But hey, you're playing... Exactly, baby, exactly, yeah. They are taking our money, man, for real, they are. They are taking our money. They are. It really is. It's, 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 it is. It is. They are. I'll be honest with you, they really are, man, for real. They are, for real. Hey, like I said, like I, hey, like I said, man, for real, man, for real, trust me. Trust me, man, trust me, man. Hey, I'm happy California come on to law, which other states would do the same thing, but they're not. But they're not for real. Again, I don't like the governor of California. I really don't. Because this dude made some, this dude made some, I'm not confront with you. He made some laws. I had to be like, what are you doing? But this, I got to give him, I got to give him a pat on the back for. He got a pat on the back for. He also wants to come out with a law. I don't know if it passed yet, I'm going to look it up basically, where, uh, where um, the use of AI in movies, in movies basically, not video games, movies basically. He wants to come out with a law basically that prevents Hollywood from using AI basically when, uh, without actors' permission and also the use of AI resurrecting dead actors and famous people and putting them in movies without the famous, famous permission. You got, that's sad when you got thieves, you got movie companies doing that. You got movie companies one that, that can bring out, that, that can use. And for instance, if they want to have Michael Jackson in the movie, they can freaking do it just like that, basically. What, just, just like that with no problem. That's scary. I don't just scary. He wants to come along doing that. That, hey, that, hey, I respect for real. That respect for real. Honestly, man, for real. But, um, but uh, remember, man, hey, remember, hey, when you buy in digital, something digital, Digital man, it's 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 gambling. You're like doing this, a toss up, man. I'm being honest with you. I'm being dead honest with you. It's 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 it's, it's, it's a huge toss up, man. For real. I'm happy California came out with that law, man. For real. Then everybody know. I'm gonna try and warn everybody from trying to warn everybody. Hey, hey, hey. It's like it's a lot of people's like one ear out the other. Some people just gotta learn the hard way. Hey. When you lose your library and all this gone, you'll find out, oh, I got this number this morning. I'm like, hey, I still got mine, physical copy, I'm good. Still got mine, physical copy, I'm good. For real. I'm, I'm, I'd, be, I'd, be one of those, I'd be one of those a holes, basically, that'd be like, yo, oh, you don't got this no more? Oh, crap, you should have bought a physical. I got mine. I'll be dead honest, man, for real. You ask my man Wavy over here. Wavy over here, who's, who's um, watching me on, um, on my um, Instagram account. I'm, I'm old school. I don't throw away nothing. If I'm liking it, I'm throwing away nothing. For real. I still got, I'm going to be real with you, I still got um, Grand Theft Auto, I still, I still got Grand Theft Auto 2 for PlayStation 1. I still got, a lot of y'all forgot about this game. I still got Street Fighter EX Plus. And Street Fighter EX, y'all forgot about them Street Fighters. Them are gems. So they came out with a couple of them in the United States. For real, for real. Those were, ooh, those were gems, man, for real. Those were gems, man, for real, for real. Mm. Also, speaking of video games, basically, 
Hey, there's a new Fate of Fear game coming out. That's coming out April 24th or 2025, basically, of next year. And and they're going to be working with Fate of Fury, SAB, who does it, SNK. They're going to be working with Capcom in this, which means you're going to get some Capcom fighters, basically, into Fate of Fury. That's what's up. Hey, I mean, hey, 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 I used to play Fate of Fury way, way back in the day. Good game, basically, good fighting game, basically. But again, it got overtaken, basically, by games like Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat and, and, and um, Street Fighter, basically, but always say Fate of Fury had its own selective um, fan base, and which which it did. It, it's a new game coming out. Cornell, Cornell, it's, just, it, it's called Fate of Fury: City of the Wolves. Basically, it's scheduled to come out April twenty fourth or twenty twenty five for PlayStation four and PlayStation five, basically. And the season one pass is even pass is going to include basically Ken and Chung Li. With three other characters gonna remain later. That's what's up, man, for real. Hey, hey, you know what? Hey, that's what's up, man, for real. Also, basically, also basically, coming in 2026, basically, we still gonna get basically, we still gonna get the Witcher um remake, remake of the very first Witcher game. That's all coming out, but um, the, the company does it says they have to take their time, basically, and 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 when they come out with it in 2026, 2026, they said. They're remaking it from the ground up. Yes, from the ground up. Which means this was going to be just like um, the last the last update which Witcher game was. Open world, open world, everything. New storytelling, new everything. It's going to be like a whole brand new game. That's what's up. Hey, I'm a huge Witcher fan. I, hey, I even read the books. I even read what not the, uh, I even watched the TV series. That's on Netflix, man. I'm going to say this. When Henry Kenville is gone, it's no longer doing Gerard, that show's going to be crap. I like Chris Hemsworth. I do. I honestly really do. But I'm gonna be dead honest. Dead honest. He, he I'm sorry. Henry Kimball is the man. And he is the man. He is. He is Gerald. He does a damn good job on that show. It's sad that um he's gonna do it no more. And I'll blame him. He said reason why I don't do the show no more because it's straying away from the book, in which I don't blame him. He reads the book. He loves the storyline. Reads the book. Remember, I don't forget to forget. It was a book before it was a video game. It really was. He's a huge fan of the story, the book, everything. He said he's mad because he strayed away from it. So that's why he's saying, you know what? Deuces, I'm out. Deuces, I'm out. In a way, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I don't blame him for real. I'm mad. But hey, let me say this. He has another project coming. Another project coming. And me, personally, I'm happy. Even though at first, I was like, I was like, no, y'all can't do another Highlander movie. But he's playing Highland. He's playing Connor McCloud. I'm like, yes. Yes, he's playing Connor McCloud. Yes, I am. Oh, my God, I'm happy. I'm happy for real. You got my man, Andy Kimball, playing Connor McCloud. Yes, that, that, that movie that was in development. It was, it, it was, it's, it, had, it had some delays basically because of that um, acting writer strike. But um, hopefully we're not. Hopefully it, 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 it's back on track now. They don't have they, don't, they haven't stopped filming yet, basically when they're but right back on track. The movie says you to come out soon, and I can't wait, basically. But when it does come out, when we know this thing, yeah, I will let you know. But hey, I'll be the first one to see that. Uh, I'm the first one to see Highlander, uh, the Highlander remake, wait, Highlander remake, starring Henry Kendall. For real, honestly, man, for real. That's gonna be who. That's gonna be that's gonna be a damn good game. Also, this could be coming to Nintendo Switch. EA is trying to do this. EA try to do this before Activision does. Bring EA try to bring Battlefield to Nintendo Switch Two. According a, a according basically what not um according to, according to EA, the, the full announcement for for the Switch Two will be sometime in October, and expected to launch March of next year. I'll be honest with you, a, I a, I have the first Switch. I'm not gonna front a. Hey, 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 best, best man ever made me. I, I, I like the Switch, man, for real. It says Switch 2 is supposed to be even more powerful as able to play Battlefield. Battlefield, Battlefield, for real. Hey, even though Battlefield hasn't been good since Battlefield 4, I'm being dead honest. And there's reports basically, boys going around that um, they are going to, they, that, um, they make a new Battlefield game, but they're going back to the way they, they're going back to where it was, basically, in um, Battlefield, Battlefield 3 and 4, which I'm like, yes. And the rumors going around that schedule that might come out sometime next year. If that does happen, hey, 
I'll be happy for real. I'm dead serious. I'm dead honest with you. I will be happy for real. Happy for real. But when I get more information, I will let you know basically, basically about um, Battlefield coming to Nintendo Switch 2. And again, they said Nintendo Switch 2 is supposed to be powerful and backwards compatible. For real. Hey, a lot of everybody's copying off of Xbox. Everybody see how Xbox has been, success, been successful with backwards compatibility, backwards compatible library. How 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 um everybody's impressed with that. Now everybody's trying to copy off of that for real. Including Sony. They said on oh, the PlayStation 6, PlayStation 6 may be backwards compatible. For real, for real. Hey, if it is, cool, good. If not, hey. If it good if it is, hey, if it's not, hey. Hey, I'm gonna be like, hey, cool. Cool, 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 me down, man, for real. I, hey, I hope basically we're not, um, I hope it is, man, for real. Hey, 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 ah, I hope it is, man, for real. Also, hey, also, um, on a movie, also a TV show front, remember my man, we're not, um, who's, who's the protagonist, basically, in, um, Star Wars, Jedi Fallen, Star Wars, um, Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Order, and, and, and the sequel, basically, what not, um, um, that dude Kyle Catiz, he may be in that new um TV show, basically that's that that's that's coming out called a TV show called um Scarlet Crew. He may make an appearance in that. A live actual live action appearance in that. Hey, I'm I'm not see I'm not see how it is, but that's just Disney basically whatnot trying to get people basically to um go to Disney Plus and watch the TV show Scarlet Crew. I'll be dead honest, they have messed up. They have Disney have effed up Star Wars. Only thing I said they gotten right was the first couple of seasons of the of the Mandalorian, and also Ahsoka. Oh, they're filming Ahsoka. They're filming Ahsoka too. Basically, season two right now. We may get it sometime next year. That I would that would admit Ahsoka two was good, including my man Ray Stevens. Man, God, I mean God rest his soul. Basically, God rest his soul. Did damn good as the floor. Damn good as the floor. Oh my God, he did good as the floor. Real for real. He did a damn good job at floor. I mean, I'm being honest with you, being dead honest, honestly, man, for real. But um, that is that is going to come out. That's going to come out um next year, basically, come out next year. Also, also, also being developed, basically, whatnot. Um, is a sequel to that movie Prey. Remember that movie Prey that came on um uh, that came on Hulu. Basically, they all do the sequel to that movie Prey, basically. But this one is gonna set a couple of years after after Prey, basically. Basically, it's gonna be. That's why I use a whole new different, whole new different cast, whole new different cast for that movie for real. And also, again, it's gonna be released, released. It's gonna be released out on Hulu. It's not gonna follow any Romulus one that ain't going to theaters. Even though Disney is trying to push it to go to push it go to theaters. Basically, when I watch it, because this Disney needs the money. They need the money. Basically, the, the people who do it at Fox, basically, uh, uh, I'm gonna put, uh, we're gonna put on Hulu. Play Hulu because Prey was good. Prey just said Prey the damn good on Hulu. I mean, everybody's watching that. When it, when it was out, it was the number one movie for real. If you didn't see Prey, go see it for real. Honestly, go see it. Honestly, go see it. You will not be disappointed. You won't, you won't be. You won't be disappointed for real. You know, for real. Also, also coming. Also coming. Basically, what not. Um, this is coming to Amazon. The trailer's out right now. Basically, for it's coming in November. It's 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 called Cross, which is based off of the which is based based off of the um Cross novels, basically by John by, by John Patterson. It's gonna be on Amazon, a TV show. I'm not gonna front me pick the right guy to play Cross. I mean, he's I mean, to me, what not? Hey, 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 he's better than Tyler Perry. Way better than Tyler Perry. Way better than Tyler Perry was for real. Way better than Tyler Perry was for real. Honestly, this is this is damn. Oh my God, it's good. It's good. It's directly from the book. I'm gonna get story. I'm gonna get story away. But trust me, you will enjoy this. You will enjoy this. And trust me, you will enjoy. Enjoy. It. It's be on Amazon. What did they say about Amazon? It's it's starting to come up. I got some nice shows and movies for real. I'm not gonna front. I hey, it started out slow, but it's starting to be catching on and get some good. Hey, to get some good content. Amazon. Hey, those of you those of you who have on um, Amazon Prime Video, man. Hey. You, it, 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 sorry, if you done another prime video, I recommend you getting it, man, for real. It's, it's, it's trying to have some, um, it's trying to have some good stuff on there, man, for real. I am, I am not going to front, man. For real. Also, other stuff being in development, basically, whatnot. 
This is going to be the Velvet Basic. This one come out until 2027. Minions 3. Yeah, I know that sucks. I wait until 2027 for Minions 3, basically. That sucks. But hey, 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 hey. Gotta wait that long for the Minions, man, for real. Also in development, also, also in development, it's supposed to come out in 2020. It's going to release date for October 9, 2026. TD Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem 2. That's come out as a sequel to Mutant, the first Mutant Mayhem. I'm not going to front. It was okay. I seen the first one was okay. It was good. I like the fact that you have my man Ice Cube, basically whatnot. I don't do, do, do the waste one of the villains. I liked the storyline and everything, even though it was somewhat kiddish, basically. It's not like The Last Ronin. I mean, I mean, woo. That's one. If you read that, read that, read that, read that, read that. The best Turtles, Turtles graphic novel in history. The Last Ronin. You'd be shocked who the last turtle is. Who knew that's what that's about? You'd be shocked who the last one is. Trust me. And the rumor has it, they are doing a movie and a video game. Yes. But Mutant Mayhem was Mutant Mayhem was good. I'm not gonna front. It was really good. Good storyline. Everything was good. This hopefully the sequel will not um live up to it. That's, that's scheduled to come out October 9, 2026. They convinced Eddie Murphy to do it again. Do another one. And Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy and my man is doing another one. Basically, Shrek Five. That's scheduled to come out July 1st, 2026. Basically, I like my man Mike Myers. Good actor. But I'm gonna say this. Mike Myers, man. Can we get into the Wayne's world? Hey, I, I'm going to keep going into the Wayne's world, man, for real. Or at least in the Austin Powers movie. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, I be doing Shrek 5. Good, good, good. But what about Austin Powers? And what about um, Wayne's world, man? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. I, 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 I ain't asking for much, man. I'm not asking for much, man, for real. Also coming out June 19, 2026. I think it's going to be a good movie. I've seen all of them. It gets better and better and better, for real. It's Toy Story 5. This this Toy Story, I think it's going to be a damn good movie. This one, basically, what not, is going to be how, you know how stuff, you know how, basically, what not. I remember when I was a kid, basically, you got some G.I. Joe's for your Barbies, but once video games started coming out with, you can put video games in your home, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it was like, oh, you put that G.I. Joe down, oh, okay. You start playing like this, yes, that's what it's about over the toys front. How the toys are being neglected when everybody's going digital, going to computers and everything. How nobody wants toys no more. How toy stores are dying. Toy stores are dying. I think that's an excellent story, excellent way to tell the story for real. I think that's gonna be damn good, basically. You see Woody, you see Woody basically and Bud trying to survive in the surviving the era where everybody wants to be on computers, computers and on um, laptops. Nobody wants to play with toys no more, how toys are dying. I think that's an excellent, excellent storyline. It really is. Because actually in real life, that's exactly what you saw. Toys are was closing down, KB's closing down, stuff like that. That's perfect. Perfect storyline. Just, just don't mess it up. Perfect storyline. Perfect in everything. Perfect way to tell the story. For real, it really is. Just don't mess it up. Honestly, just don't. Honestly, that's for real. I don't, I, don't, I don't get people laugh at me when people laugh at me whenever. Hey, I will be right in there when I at 45, 44 years old. I'll be 46 in time and watching Toy Story 5. I'm being, I'm being serious. I bought the Toy Story since the first, it's the first one for real. I will, I will see this for man for real. Also, in development is scheduled to come out April 3rd, 2026. Super Mario Brothers 2. The first one was good. I'm not gonna front. I, I was skeptical. I was skeptical at first, but not because I originally watched the original Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. movie, the one with John Leguizamo, John Leguizamo and them. I'm, I'm that I'm that old, but this one was good. Even though I didn't like Chris Pratt playing Mario, I really did. But this one was a good movie. Jet Black was awesome as Bowser. Please keep him as Bowser for real. But I think this is going to be a damn good movie, for real. It really is. It's going to be a damn good movie. Just scheduled to come out um, April 3rd, 2026, for real. Also coming August 1st of next year, The Bad Guys 2. I'm not going to front. I underestimated the, the, the Bad Guys. I really did. I didn't see it in theaters, but I remember, I remember when it came on Peacock. It was on Peacock. It gives a shot. I was like, oh, 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 oh. I really underestimated that movie. I did. 
If you didn't see it, watch it. It should still be on Peacock. It should still be on Peacock, basically. It was all, it was a good movie, excellent movie. I liked the storyline and everything. It had a lot of twists and turns. It really did. But this, trust me, you will like this movie. You really, you really will like this movie. Honestly, man, for real. I underestimated this movie. I did. I would never do that again. Man, for real. This was this was this was really this was really good, man, for real. Hey, 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 Spider, this basically what not do with some baseball yesterday. You know, baseball start is starting to come to an end, man, for real. But to me, it doesn't come to an end. I'm still be playing I'm gonna be the show. Thank you everybody who watched me play I'm gonna be the show. And I know I got my butt whooped last night by um Bubble last night, what bubble last night by the Giants, man, by the physical Giants, man. Hey, hey, Red Sox got no pitching, man. Red Sox got no pitching, man. For real, got no pitching, man. For real, my bullpen was, my bullpen was black. I, I got fixed that bullpen for real. For, 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 but but later on today, what not? I wouldn't play with the Mets, what not? Hey, I'll be later on today. We playing again. I, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be playing with the Mets, man. I'll be playing with the Mets. You, hey, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You wearing this? My friends make me wearing that, what not? Because. I said what not that um I made a bet with them that um Yankees won't win the division title and they did. Congratulations, Yankees won the division title. Now I gotta wear this, man. Mmm. For real, man. I gotta start betting against the Yankees, man, for real. I re I I, I, re I really really do, man, for real. I really do. You had the Dodgers beat the Padres seven to two. You had the Marlins beat the Twins eight to six. The Yankees beat the um Orioles ten to one. Woo! You got Oakland. You know, Oakland beat the Rangers three to two in the final game, basically in Oakland. You got the Rockies beat the Cardinals ten six. The White Sox beat the Angels seven nothing. They actually won a game, another game. Wow, for real. Hmm. You got the Tigers beat the Rays four to three. Royals beat Nationals seven to four, and the Brewers beat the Pirates five to two. Mets and Braves again was postponed because of that hurricane. And for all y'all down there, for real. Please be safe. Please be safe and be careful with that hurricane and everything. Please, God, be safe, man. For real, I mean, they just says Category 4. A like Category 4, yo. That is, whoo. Mm -hmm. Please be safe. Please. Please be safe, man, for real. As it stands, as it stands, right, as, as, as it stands right now, Yankees are in, Cleveland are in, Houston is Houston is basically in all division champs. Baltimore is the only one that clinched the wild card spot. Right now, Detroit and Kansas City are still Detroit Kansas City are still battling Detroit Kansas City. Detroit got second, Kansas City got the third wild card spot. It was the wrong spot. They haven't clinched yet. But it's obviously gonna clinch whatnot, because the next year's behind them is Minnesota and Seattle, and they're behind whatnot um three games each. So I'll be I'll be dead honest. I'll be dead honest. I won't be surprised if it's I mean I'll be surprised if it it it, 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 it sorry if not gonna be um Detroit Kansas City for real Detroit Kansas City for real and the National League Dodgers clinched clinched also the division title Philly clinched also the division title Milwaukee clinched also the division title San Diego is locked basically what now for that um first wild card spot. Arizona and Mets didn't, didn't lock it down yet. But in, 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 in Arizona's number two, Mets number three. And they both got one game lead above Atlanta. I mean, you mean above, above Atlanta. Atlanta, yo. If the, the way things I think they're going to go is, which I think is going to suck, I think, the, I, think, I think they're going to end up playing that game on Monday doubleheader. I think that game's they they get into playing that game basically, which I think that sucks because because let's say for instance the Mets or the Braves let's say for instance the Mets win that game let's say because you play and the Mets end up winning um the doubleheader we need the next day next day whatnot they got to play whatnot um the next day they got to play in San Diego basically say San Diego or Arizona and that sucks that sucks man I mean. I mean, you gotta travel this score here, travel this score here. I think Big League Baseball should have did a better job. They should let they should let the match play, but play somewhere else for real. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. For real, hey. Hopefully, what not? Hopefully, the mess. Hopefully, hopefully the mess come on top, man. For real. Hopefully, the mess will come on on top. Honestly, man. For real. Hey, hey, hey today's Friday. In case, in case some of y'all don't want to watch, um, doing my SmackDown, doing my SmackDown. Hey, SmackDown, SmackDown gonna be out tonight. 
Hot today. The Red Sun Baseball. Hey, Red Sun Baseball today. You got Pirates, Yankees, what I'm saying, at 705 in the Bronx. Bronx, supposed to be a nice day. Supposed to be a nice day, basically, why not? In case you want to go to the um, Yankee game tonight, you know what I'm saying, basically. Yankees should beat the Pirates. Yankees should the Pirates. Yankees should the Pirates for real. Yankees should the Pirates for real. And, um. And, oh, and Mets Brewers basically at A10, basically. Mets can be at basically Milwaukee. Must win for the Mets, man, for real. It really is a must win for the New York Mets, man, honestly. A must win for the New York Mets. Real talk. Real talk, man, for real. Hey, thanks for listening to my podcast. Podcast is available. Where to reach your podcast? I'm on Podbean, Spotify. Most Apple Podcasts. I'm also on iHeartRadio. I'm live on my Twitch account, Sean Green 8 on one word. I'm live on my um, YouTube channel. Do we like and subscribe for more videos? I'm also live on my Instagram page, Sean 4476. Hey, 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 don't forget to shoot me an email one night at Sean Green Show at Yahoo.com. In case you want to leave a comment, whatever, or topic for, or next topic for the next podcast, whatever. Hey, hey. Also, hey, hey, y'all have a blessed, blessed day one night. If this was the day, hey, TGIO, thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Also, don't, also, um, I won't be doing a show tomorrow, but I'll be doing one on Sunday. All right. Hey, don't forget to also Saturday, tomorrow, Saturday, Georgia, Bama. Georgia Bama. Let's go Bulldogs. Be let's go Bulldogs, yo. Be Bama, man, for real. Georgia Bulldogs, man. Even though we're not the fan, but I like and respect Georgia. Come on, Georgia, for real. All right. Yeah, have a blessed day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Listen, thank you for watching. <laughs>